Hey, Bo. Bo, tell me, can you hear me? Can you hear my voice? I see you, Bo. Thank you so much. If you can hear me, please tell me if you can hear me. I see that my light is not on here, and I charged this thing overnight. I did. You're loud and clear. I'm glad. Thank you. Good. I know I'm a bit late. I know I said, uh, what did I say? 1835? It's 1840 now. And uh, yes, you can. 32 people locking at a Barco something or other. We can hear you, but we can't see you. Well, the reason you can't see me is because I'm not sitting in that seat just yet, but I will be. I have to stand behind the camera just to be sure that, um, that I'm loud and clear, and then I can sit in front there and in front of the camera and sort of give you my, my, uh, my two cents worth of what's going on. You're clear. Hello, Vincent. Let's get started. You're right. Let's get started. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk around from behind my desk please don't judge my shoes you know people start talking about your shoes and then you know then all the hell breaks loose because because of your shoes right let's get this show on the road hi everybody I wanted to come by and just share with you a couple of things that I think are important. I won't keep you long. Please do me a favor and um, share this broadcast. Um, I'm over here at Simoson Building in my office and I wanted to come by and as many of you know, the Republican president held a press conference today and there were several things that he said, very salient points that he made. Of course, I won't go through the whole gamut of what he said because he said so much. It was very bulky. And, uh, I, but I just want to pick out one or two things that, that stood out for me and I think that the nation was sort of focusing on. Can I tell you what I find interesting and curious? I find it curious that as a country, we are about to receive close to $400 million under this IMF they call it the ECF, uh, the Extended Credit Facility Program. And, and this money is going to go a long way in mitigating and, and help alleviating the burden of this drought that we're currently going through. It's a significant step in the right direction. But guess what? Nobody talks about that. No, no one, in fact, if anything, it's a footnote. You know, people don't focus on that because it's not convenient, because uh, people don't focus on that because it's not titillating, you know, it's not scandalous, it's not, um, it doesn't play into the hands of partisan politics. Uh, I found that interesting, I found it interesting that this government has made major strides in trying to reduce the cost and the accessibility of alternative sources of energy for the people because of what we're going through, the low levels of uh, uh, the water levels over there in Zambezi and I mean in um, at the dam and all of these things that that this administration is trying to do people don't focus on you know and, and I, find, I find that strange of course uh, I always quote Dr. Nevis Mumba he once said that uh, while we do agree that there is no such thing as a perfect government. We do agree, though, that there are governments that are better than others. There are some governments that are better than others. And I think that I can say without any fear of contradiction or uh, equivocation that as imperfect as this administration is, as imperfect as Hagainda Hichilema is, as, as imperfect as the UPND administration is, we can agree, though, 
that they're a whole lot better than those scoundrels we had before, a whole lot better. Of course, that's a point that you can argue. Many of you will argue and say, well, Simon, I don't agree with you. And that's your privilege. If you don't agree with me, that's your privilege. You get on your platform and, and you, you make an argument as to why you don't agree with that. Let me also mention here, there's something the president said a few days ago that many people just didn't get. They didn't understand it. It went over their heads. I mean, literally, right over their heads. Remember when the president said, if you're just working from eight to five, you're just hanging out. Do you know what he, do you know what he meant by that? What he meant was that, you know, there's certain people that work to get the job done. Okay, there are people that are dedicated to their craft. They don't look at hours. What they concentrate on is, I need to get this done. Okay, I, I need to, I need to, to, to meet this target. There are people like that. There are people that are so dedicated to their craft and to their work that it's not about eight to five. Of course, we understand, guys. It goes without saying. I mean, nobody wants to work 16, 20 hours a day. But the president's point is, we need to be cut from the cloth that sort of indicates that we should be a people that 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 set out to get the job done not just to meet the quota of hours that you work did you catch that did you hear that let me say that again because i think that's important when we go to work when we provide service it shouldn't just be about eight to five you know there are people the moment the moment it hits five o'clock. Na computer tava shimia. Very mafia. Yeah, it's five. I gotta go. And 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 if that's you, that's fine. We're not knocking that. I'm not knocking that. You know, because I mean, that's what you're contractually uh, obligated to do. But then there are people that go the extra mile. The people that that stay an extra 15, 20 minutes. Why? Because they want the job done. They want to meet their target. Those are the people that the president was referring to. Of course, some people misunderstood that and said, no, this president is saying, that's not what he meant. What he meant is what I've just explained. Uh, the other thing I wanted to very briefly sort of mention to you, you know, the the apparently the inspector general of police uh, allegedly uh, this is what i hear that he said the reason he discourages the opposition from conducting rallies is because the upnd thugs are going to attack them first of all it is the job the duty nay nay it is the obligation the constitutional obligation of the police to protect all Zambians, regardless of what political party they're from. So for the IG to say or to suggest or to imply that the reason that we can't, the reason we're discouraging rallies is that the UPND thugs will attack you. Well, it's the job of the police to protect. But on the other side of that, we must also understand that oftentimes, especially within the Zambian context, Rallies are just a nuisance, especially pre-election season. I want you to understand what I'm saying. Pre-election season, before the season for election kicks in. What is the purpose of a rally? When you hear that UCA is having a rally, what, what are they going to do? What For what? It's just going to be a bunch of guys coming together, a bunch of delinquents coming together, causing a muck, running astray, and, and just causing trouble. Now, the, the, the other flip side to that is, I am so thankful, I really am, I'm glad that the president emphasized and re-emphasized. Unfortunately, we live in a country that it takes the head of state to make his point, to make it again, and then to make it again. From the very beginning, the president guided on the issue of thuggery and caterism. He made that abundantly clear. But somehow we're in this phase and this dispensation where, where we think, well, you know what, maybe when the president first said it two, two years and 11 months ago, maybe he didn't mean it, okay? So here, three years down the line, two, two years and 11 months down the line, 
things have changed. Maybe the president meant something else. No, the president made it clear. Thuggery, hooliganism, lawlessness has no place in real Zambian politics. And then he said it again today. He says, he said, look, you don't need me to come here every other week to remind you. Do your job. You do your job. Don't remind me of me. Don't make me remind you to do your job. Keep the Zambian people safe. Thuggery, hooliganism, caterism, as we know it, has no place in real politics. All right. Thought I'd share that with you. I wanted to share that with you guys. Let me read some of you. Can I read a comment or no? It's going to be news time. It's it's the news is gonna so I'll leave it there for now and thank you so much for watching have a great evening I gotta go boom bye right let's turn this thing off and go home man go home right